Hey everybody, this is Petey. Um, I was, uh, so this, <laughs> hey everybody, this is Petey. So uh, this summer's a bit different than, you know, anybody could have hoped to imagine, you know, with the pandemic happening and all. And um, a trend that I started falling into and noticing was that everybody formed their own gardens, you know, to, I don't know if it's because they had more free time or, you know, people were assuming that shit would hit the fan and, you know, we would end up having food shortages or something like that. Me, me being like a crazy fringe weirdo, uh, definitely assumed that. So I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe we got to start looking towards self-sustainability. Um, so I, I guess what I'm going to do is to, I, that's my garden right now. Um, I'll show you guys more of it, but then I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, an indoor gardening solution and a course that I invested in that I think uh, is actually really good. You know, it, like all the direction that was given, the, the pamphlets, the manuals that are included with this course for a very cheap price, you know. I talked with the, the guy who uh, created the, um, this program. Um, he's very um, he's very on top of things when it comes to responding and that's something I definitely respect in him and uh, I uh, you know I'll talk more about that in a minute let's let's look at the garden all right so this is uh, the garden I, I planted mostly tomatoes but I got a couple eggplants right there um, got some some pickles uh, well, pickling cucumbers. Those are just regular cucumbers, but I also planted some pickling cucumbers as well. I had no idea that there was a difference. This is my first year gardening, and these are my results. Um, I didn't pick that in time. That's embarrassing. Um, it's starting to get closer to fall, and, uh, you know, I, I probably should figure out how to winterize this. I have some frost cloth to maybe rectify that. There's some zucchinis. There's a nice zucchini I should pick right there. Actually, wait a minute. I did see, I should probably pick this guy. This is all me not really knowing how to, you know, grow things. I did, I was curious about hydroponics and stuff like that. But I decided, you know, do it the old-fashioned way for a bit. There's some mint going. And this is like, I haven't weeded at all. I'm very lazy when it comes to uh, gardening. And I'll, you know, I'll probably have people be like, well, why didn't you weed in the comments section? And I'm, I'm just like, I, I don't know. I just wanted to see what would happen. I'm curious about food foresting. That's going to be the next... Like this year was more about looking into like companion plants and understanding that. Uh, next year might be like food foresting. Oh, there's an acorn squash right there. I might be ready to, to be picked. I'm not exactly sure the readiness. Um, oh, we still got things flowering. That's amazing. Nature is amazing. Tons and tons of cherry tomatoes. It's, they've taken over completely. And also other other plants that I haven't planted. The Swiss chard has no chance in surviving. I had some Swiss chard over there in the uh, first one that we looked at. And just everything got taken over. Like by all the weeds and stuff like that. So like uh, this is probably how Google. Oh there's some cherry tomatoes turning red. I don't know if they're ready to be picked just yet. Maybe some of them are. We've been getting cherry tomatoes every day. And, uh, you know, I'd like more zucchinis, to be honest with you guys. Um, but I'm happy with all the tomatoes and cucumbers that we've been getting. A lot of nice salads. Um, you know, cucumber, I, I believe, you know, is pure... Is pure water, you know, like, or not pure water, like the, the water is purified through the uh, cucumbers, you know, kind of like how watermelons, you know, the water from the watermelons are, are pure. You guys get what I'm saying. 
Um, so that being said, though, me being lazy and not really weeding or any of that stuff, I, I stumbled upon it through Google Ads. That's how you know they're listening in on you, little uh, big brother. <laughs> listening in on you and everything that you're doing. Oh, there's even a weed growing out of here. That's amazing. If only weeds were, like, edible. Well, uh, unless you count mint, but that that's besides the point. So, um, you know, Big Brother was listening in on me, and they, they were like, also, oh, this is a disgusting color. <laughs> I apologize for that. Actually, yeah, it's kind of the same. Um, so they were listening in and they're like, yes, let's put this ad, this Google ad for this, uh, uh, Revolution Garden is the name of it. The guy's name is James Fry. It's the Revolution Garden. And I, it's kind of like a hydroponic rig. Um, and it's made, comprised of what he calls the, uh, tiny green monsters. And this is me, my first year. Not really doing anything. Um, I really don't know what to weed either. Um, but honestly, the the uh, the genius of it is that if you overplant it right and you you weed and uh, you know you thin properly, I see the thing is is I I'm too much of a novice in order to um, get the ideal thing going. But yeah, for not really knowing anything, I. I it seems it's very very dense up in here up in this and i think uh you know there was a lot of weeds around here and a lot of thinning that i neglected i just kind of set it up and i forgot about it and not bad you know the basil's kind of um they're, they they want to go to seed um i was told that you know once they flower they want to go to seed i'm i'm Definitely learning a bunch of new stuff this year, and uh, you know the the nutrients weren't uh, the the type of soil that is in the manual wasn't exactly available in the stores because, like I mentioned earlier, the uh, um, trend was to, um, you know, everybody was gardening, so all of the soil that I was looking for had been uh sold out so i had to supplement it and i don't think i supplemented enough but i've seen uh results where like you you know supplement them properly you know you put in the tiny green monsters in good amount i was very conservative about my tiny green monsters putting them in the soil and and they might have not have sprouted enough and the uh, uh type of kelp extracts that that uh james has you implement into the system but for what i have i mean i mean here is really good here could use some work um i probably need more guidance i've i've, I've been neglecting to email him because i'm i'm kind of worried about this or nutrient deficiencies but i'm actually learning tons about nutrient deficiencies through his program as well and i'd say you know as a beginner gardener for his first summer uh, I'll give it a, you know, I, it's pretty good. I, I, I'm satisfied. So that's what I've been doing for this summer. And, you know, if you you enjoy videos like this, you know, me talking about gardening and, you know, looking at leaves and stuff, um, you know, leave a comment below. See if you want to um, have more of a gardening blog. And I'm going to try some an experimental thing where I try to winterize this because it's getting colder out. And I, I'm actually, when I feel the leaves, they're feeling a lot tougher. And I don't know if that's like a testament of like, oh, it's going to get cold and they're getting ready. They're getting ready because it's cold. Um, I feel that a lot with the basil. Like in the summertime, um, like when it was a lot warmer out, like a couple months ago, like in July, I felt that the basil leaves were more... Um, not loose, but they, they felt, uh, um, I don't know, they didn't feel as thick, you know, and I, and I wonder if that's because, uh, it's going to be a tough winter. At least that's what somebody's told me anecdotally. Um, if that's true, you know, let me know, but I hardly had to weed at all. I mean, I didn't weed at all in the, uh, the other garden over here. 
and uh, I didn't really at all over here. And I kind of want to keep that trend going because that's kind of what the uh, program, I mean, you do see some stuff under here, under the hood. Um, but you do, um, it is advertised where you don't really have to weed, probably because it's more of like an indoor garden thing. And I think if I close this off to more of an indoor solution, you know, it would, um, it, it would probably, I probably wouldn't have the, any issues, as many issues, you know, but it's cool to know that there's a program out there where, uh, there's my doggie. I think she she just went to the bathroom. Anyways, I'd say if I had all the right so if I had all the right uh, fixings, and uh, it was done indoors with the right lighting rigs and you know enough southern facing sun, you know this is the most southern facing sun, and as you can see, there's tons of tons of trees everywhere, and you know I considered putting it on the roof right over there. But I don't know if I want to climb on the roof every day just to uh, tend to it. And it's not really stable enough for walking. So I'm kind of, and you know, the lattice, I, I kind of have this solution going on where I'm just standing here with my Peter Pan looking shoes. <laughs> you know, just kind of trying to tend to it. I can't reach over to there as much. So this isn't really an ideal situation. But f with all of those things considered, all the drawbacks, all the things I got to jump around in order to have something like this, I think it's really good. And um, it's definitely worth the money. I, I splurged on myself. I think the full program that he has with like uh, pamphlets, like the uh, directions I didn't even look at yet. Um, I just wanted to set this whole thing up um, firstly and then you know, maybe explore to the other, uh, um, the other uh, modules that he has that are kind of add-ons to this Revolution Garden thing. The Revolution Garden thing uh, um, program, I believe, is relatively cheap. But if you want to splurge, it's it's not that much either. You know, considering how much uh, you know, considering how much college is, and also other online programs that you know ask for like. $5,000 or, you know, $6,000 a pop, depending on what you want to learn. But yeah, if you enjoyed everything, you know, my blog, my garden blog, ooh, my garden, um, leave your comments below. I think I'm going to add some more nutrients to this. Um, I also don't know what this is. Is this a weed? Should I pull this? Probably. You know, there, I saw some grass under here. Um, some stuff that obviously doesn't really belong, you know. It's, I think if it was, if I, uh, planted it more correctly, um, I would have, uh, you know, I wouldn't have had to weed as much, but, and I don't have a pH meter, so that's something that's in the module. Um, but definitely for, for all of those things considered, pretty bang up job and you know let me know what you guys think i'm definitely proud i guess i'll i'll bid you guys a fond ado i'm going to continue this doing this weekly but this is something that i set up like a month or month and a half ago about and uh i'm really satisfied on how much growth has happened in that short amount of time whereas this was more of like the beginning of summer beginning of uh, you know, end of spring, you know, after the last winter frost in the northeast. I, I, I'm going to winterize this somehow. I think I'll continue the blog doing that, and I'm getting guidance from James, and uh, it's definitely worth, you know, uh, email having that line to somebody who has had over a decade of experience in, in uh, aquaponics and things like that, because, you know, I got the, I got the uh, flood... What is it? Not the, you know what I mean? Like the reservoir with the pump and everything. It looks gross in there, mind you. Look at that. That's all nutrients. That's all plant food. Those are all uh, macronutrients that these guys crave. It's what it's. It's got electrolytes. It's what plants crave. I'm 
want to get away from just doing one thing on YouTube, maybe I should branch out a little bit. No pun intended, haha, <laughs> branch, because, you know, leaves and plants and stuff, haha. <laughs> um, well, you guys have a good one. I'm going to go do stuff, and, uh, you know, hopefully these guys, these babies grow. I'll probably do some weeding here now while I'm up here. Um, but yeah, winterizing it is definitely the next step, and I'll keep you guys posted with the winterizing part. Alrighty, everybody, take care, happy growing, protect your families.